Path 7, statement of cash flows. Path 7, statement of cash flows is one of your different financial statements. As I told you under your past one, most of your items in your past one was already uh, covered as to your different types of financial statements. However, past seven is a separate financial statement which deals on your uh, statement of cash flow. So unlike your statement of comprehensive income, statement of uh, financial position as to its presentation, the statement of cash flows has a different uh, standard as to its presentation. So how do we present your statement of cash flows? Under your statement of cash flows, we must divide your items as either operating, investing, or financing. So when do we consider an item as an operating activity? It is considered as an operating activity if it comes from your principal revenue, principal revenue producing activities. Right? So if it comes from your principal revenue producing activities. So what are your principal revenue producing activities? These are your current assets and current liabilities. Okay? So if ever the transaction pertains to your current assets or current liabilities, it is considered an operating activity. So for example, you have here accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is considered a current asset. If your accounts receivable decrease, it means that you paid some of your accounts. Uh, if accounts receivable decrease, it means that you have collected some of your accounts receivable. Collected. If you collected some of your accounts receivable, it is considered as part of your operating because it is considered a current asset. Next. Accounts payable, payment of accounts payable. Accounts payable is considered a current liability. So since it is a current liability, it should be placed under your operating activity. Another, uh, payment for inventories. Inventories is considered a current asset, therefore part of operating. Okay? So operating activities comes from your current assets and your current liabilities. So if ever the uh, cash items come from either current asset or current liability, it is considered operating. Next, for investing. For investing activity, this talks about your acquisition disposal of long-term assets or long-term investments. Okay. So if ever you have here long-term assets or long-term investments, if you have cash coming from those, it is considered investing. Therefore, this is more of your non-current assets. Any items which affects your non-current assets as to your cash is considered investing. So in our T account, we have your current asset, non-current asset, current liability, non-current liability, and equity. Take note, current asset and current liability. Current asset and current liability is for your operating. Non-current asset is considered investing. Now, we go to your financing. So when we talk about your financing, we talk about the amounts of your uh, equity. Remember, I told you before, your equity comes from your creditors and your owners. So normally, these are your liabilities and equity. So it is considered financing because uh, most of the capital of the business comes from these two items, creditors and owners. However, for financing activities, normally this is from equity and long-term borrowings. Therefore, if ever the transaction comes from non-current liability and equity portion, it is considered financing. So in our T account, we're done with current asset and current liability. If ever the cash transaction comes from current asset or current liability, operating, non-current asset, investing, non-current liability, and your equity, it is considered financing. Okay, so here, uh, 
and use other color. Okay. So, guys, if ever the transaction, let's say, transaction cash, transaction from the selling of property, plan, and equipment. Property, plan, and equipment is non-current asset. So, tignan mo yung non-current asset, investing. Next, transaction from bonds payable. Bonds payable, you receive from uh, bonds payable. Bonds payable is a non-current liability. So, non-current liability, financing. Transaction from your common stock. Common stock is... Equity. So, equity, financing. Cash transaction from your dividends. Dividends payable. Dividends payable is generally current liability. So, uh, it's either operating or financing. Why? Because dividends also comes from your uh, equity. So, you just need to look as to the nature of that particular payment or receipt. If ever it is current asset, current liability, non-current asset, non-current liability or equity. Take note, current asset and current liability. If the cash transaction comes from those, we have your operating. If the cash transaction comes from your non-current asset, it is considered investing. Non-current liability and equity, it is considered financing. Next, as to the presentations of your statement of cash flows. As to your presentation of your statement of cash flows, you have here alternative presentation. We have interest and dividend. So when we talk about your interest, we have either interest income and interest expense. Interest income comes from your non-current asset or your investments. Okay. Guys, since it is income and expense, of course, it is part of your operating. It is part of your operating. However, take note, interest income comes from your non-current assets investments. Non-current asset investment, if we place it in our T account, non-current asset is in part of your investing. That's why we have alternative presentation for your interest income. It can either be part of your operating or part of your investing. Next, interest expense. Interest expense comes normally from your non-current liability, particularly your long-term liabilities. These long-term liabilities or non-current liabilities are in the part of, of course, your financing. That's why if you have interest expense, since it is part of your income, take note, income transactions, normally current asset and current liability, our rule is it is on your operating. However, we take a look as to the source of this interest income. Interest income comes from our non-current asset, and that is from our investment. Investment, non-current asset, is for investing. That's why there is an alternative presentation. You can present it either operating or investing for interest income. For interest expense, you have your non-current liability, normally long-term liability. If that is a non-current liability, generally it is considered financing. But since it is also an expense, it can be presented in Operating. So interest expense can either be presented as either operating or financing. And generally, from one moment in time up to your uh, end of your business, your presentation must be the same for consistency purposes. But here in your alternative presentations, it tells you uh, whether you can present it as operating or investing. It depends on your rule in your company, whether you present it as operating or investing or operating or financing. Just take note, interest income, since it comes from your non-current asset, can be also measured or presented in your investing. Interest expense, since it comes from your non-current liability, it can also be presented in your financing. Next, for your dividends. Your dividends can either be dividend income or your dividends per se, or dividends payable. Since they are both items of your income or your operations, of course, they are presented as operating. But when do you have a dividend income? Normally, you have a dividend income based on a non-current asset, particularly your investment in stocks, 
Ito, if you have investment stocks, you can earn dividend. Since you can earn dividend on your non-current asset, non-current asset is investing. Therefore, dividend income can be presented as either operating or investing. Next, dividends or your dividend payable. Dividend payable is a current asset, that's why uh, current liability, that's why we place it on your operating. However, your dividend payable comes from your equity. So because of your equity or your stocks, you need to pay your investors dividends. So equity is part of your financing. That's why your dividends can also be presented as operating or financing. Take note, dividend income, operating or investing. Dividends, operating or financing. Interest income, operating or investing. Interest expense, operating or financing. So these are different alternative presentations as to your items, interest and dividends. I discussed why is it considered investing also? Why is it considered financing also? Remember our T account? Do not forget that. If it comes from current asset and current liability, we have here operating. If it comes from your non-current asset, we have here your investing. If it comes from your non-current liability and equity, we have here your financing. Okay? So methods of presentation. So your methods of presentation of your cash flows can either be direct or indirect. It, can see, it is considered direct if each major class of gross cash receipts and gross cash payments are presented. So let's say cash receipts from receivables, cash receipts from sale or equipment. So isa -isa yan. cash receipts, that's cash payments. Ganun pagka direct. Pag indirect naman, you adjust the accrual basis net profit or loss from your net for the non-cash transactions. So first, we have your net income, less non-cash transactions. So these are your cash from operating activities. Okay. So what are some examples of your non-cash transactions? We have your uh, gains on changes in fair value. You do not receive cash. Uh, depreciation, you do not pay any cash. Amortization, you do not pay any cash. So any transaction that there is no cash receipt or cash payment, you do not recognize. So gain on changes in fair value, there is only a change in fair value, but you do not receive any cash. Depreciation, amortization, there is an expense, but you do not pay any cash. What else? Uh, bad debt expense, you do not pay any cash on a bad debt expense. So and your indirect method from your net income, you remove non-cash transactions. Indirect. Direct. From every type of cash receipts or cash payment, we look into your increase or decrease. Okay? So again, for your statement of cash flows, just memorize these items. Memorize current asset, non-current asset, current liability, non-current liability, and equity. If it's current asset and current liability, it is presented in your it is presented in your OP reading. Non-current asset, it is presented under your investing. Non-current liability equity, it is presented under your financing. Okay? Once uh it is done for your operating, financing, and investing, you can either present it now under your direct or indirect method, okay? So please don't forget the difference between direct and indirect. And also we have your alternative presentations. We have your dividends and your interest, okay? So together with operating, they can be presented as either financing or investing. That's it for our statement of cash flows.